I hate how forgetful I am and I do that to God all the time. <laughs> So proud of you. What up, y'all? This is me, Ajibea, and I'm back again with another video. And um, please make sure you like this video. That you subscribe if you have not already, okay? And you hit the post notification bell so you get notified when I post. I do post every Monday and Friday. Today, we're going to do a get ready with me as I discuss. Well, not brands, not like the important today. I'm excited. You guys are excited. I wanted to talk about this topic because I've been going through a lot of seasons since you last seen me and the only thing that was keeping me going was remembrance and so I wanted to talk about that today because honestly remembrance is such an important thing and when you don't remember things it's hard to, to remember right <laughs> anyhow um, um yeah so there's like so many different factors in remembrance. I mean, usually when I do do like when I do do like Bible study with myself or whatever, I always pray for the Holy Spirit to, to bury these words deep down in my heart so I may not sin against the Lord. And the reason why I say bury it deep down in my heart is so I my my heart has remembrance. Like the like it's in me and I have remembrance of the words that have been spoken. And also, I just feel like when I'm in seasons when it's like very dark and cloudy, having remembrance of the times where God brought me through it and seasons where I feel like I am like lost um, in the freaking wilderness, like not okay at all. Uh, having remembrance of how far I have come and how God has always had his hand on me is very important. And... Yeah, I just wanted to really go deeper on that topic. Um, so that is the Bibli vibes. Yeah, like I said, lately, I've been okay actually lately. I have been okay lately. And I just finally feel like I'm getting back my momentum. But honestly, I'm trying to think of the right words to say. You know, when I enter seasons where I feel very um, forgotten or I enter into spaces where I feel like I am isolated or in a lonely season, having remembrance that like God is with me, God hears me, God sees me, these things, having remembrance of those things is what keeps me going. And I feel like any time where I forget those things is when I really sink into a lie. And I feel like the importance of having remembrance and having remembrance of God's word is because it's truth and it combats the lies that the enemy's trying to make us believe. Um, so, this is the color scheme I was talking about. But yeah, I, I just, I've been in some seasons lately and these seasons have been trying to beat me up and <laughs> I'm, I'm breathing and I'm alive and glory to God <laughs> but it was helpful to have remembrance of like what God has done and what God has already shown me and all these things and so that's what's been keeping me going and allowing me to truly see that like I am not alone God has his hand on me um even when I wasn't living for the Lord the Lord still had his hand on me and nothing can separate me from the love of God. Like remembering these things, it's very helpful. And that's why it's important to be in your word because you know what, when you're not, it's very easy to get attacked. <laughs> like honestly, it really, really is. And um, I don't know, even when it comes to like having so I, I've seen this on TikTok. I don't know, like this is what people do say, that depression and anxiety is um, you having double-mindedness, meaning like you believed a lie at some point and that's what's causing the depression or the anxiety. And like that's what triggered it. And it's either you have 
believe the lie of your past or of the future. That's what makes you worried about the future in certain things in that sense. And so by having remembrance of like what God has spoken and having remembrance of the truth, it helps combat the, the lies of the enemy when it comes to anxiety about the future or about um, a situation that like God has already brought you from. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I just feel like this season that I just kind of have been exiting, it's been a lot of back and forth with anxiety um, over lots of different areas. And I realized I do have a problem with that. I didn't realize how bad of a problem to like this season. And like, there'll be small things. It'd be very, very small. And I'll be like stressed. Okay. I'll be anxious. I'll be not okay at all. And honestly, I realize when I'm in that, like that mentality and I, and I see that and then I'm like, okay, let me give this to the Lord because I don't know what's going on. And when I tell you, um, like, I'll surrender it, I'll give it on, I'll give it to the Lord. God will have his way in that, and I'll feel like the peace of God. I'm like, yeah, I'm back to normal, yay. And then, and then next, next thing, thing I, know, I know, there's another, there's another situation. situation. Same, same, same thing happening. Happen. Happen. Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm freaking, freaking out, out. Okay. 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 I'm shutting, I'm shutting down. down, and I'm like, we're like, taking it away. I so went to it. And it just keeps being the cycle that for me, for some reason, that's what I was going on last season. Um, and I'm still in a sense in that season, but like just in this cycle, in this cycle of like anxiety, surrender, peace, on and on and on and on. And then once I started having true remembrance, it made it, they made the cycle go a lot faster. You know, so I got a lot faster until it started getting eliminated. Because I had remembrance of what God has already done in this situation and in that situation and in this situation. And so normally when I am going through hard times, I always pray for remembrance because that is the truth. And that is I don't know how else to explain it. I really don't. But it is the truth and it cuts deeper than a double-edged sword you know through bone and marrow and it really cuts deep and so it will cut the lies out of your life real quick and I've seen it happen and um yeah I just really wanted to talk about that because I'm like I don't know if it's just me but I have a problem with forgetting I literally have a problem with forgetting and I know my mom loves to say it to me all the time, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about little things. <laughs> I'm talking about with the Lord and I guess in little things too. Like there was a day, it's so funny because I remember I was telling this to one of my sisters in Christ one day and it's so funny because I remember I was speaking and I, re- I remember I was going to say what I was going to say, but I didn't realize the revelation that the Holy Spirit was giving me as I was speaking to her until it was already said. But pretty much, I was at school, okay? I packed lunch for myself. I packed the seltzer water. That's my favorite flavor. And then I packed, you know, my lunch and all that. So now it's like, I'm about to eat my lunch. You know, we getting ready to do that. And I'm over here looking at the smoothie bar. I'm like, man, a smoothie sounds mad good right now. Like, uh, it was like $5 for like a little it was small it was small guys and I was just like mm, that thing looking mad good though I was like let me not spend money though I'm wildin' because that is ridiculous I could just drink water I have water and so now I'm like gonna go sit down go have my water and I open up my lunchbox and I have a seltzer water in there and I was so freaking happy I was like oh my goodness I have a seltzer water and honestly I can't remember word for word of what I spoke that day because it's been that was like in September September yeah and it's just like it was a while ago obviously but then I was like I hate how forgetful I am and I do that to God all the time like I really be forgetting what God has already given me and I just start like freaking out and all these things but I'm just very forgetful um and it bothers me and I and I do that to God all the time and it drives me nuts and that's something I'm still working on and I don't know I just feel like 
just in that little moment of me just forgetting that I had seltzer water when I've already, I, I literally put it in there for myself to have and I totally forgot and I was about to go buy a smoothie and I feel like that's how we are sometimes with God's plans for our lives. Like God has it already in store for us, it's ready to go. And we're like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? <laughs> and bring out, try to find something else because it's taking too long or um, we can't wait or we wanna be in control so bad that we're not allowing his will to be done. You know what I mean? And it's just like, if you just remembered how God has brought you this far, how God has had his hand on you even before you gave your life to him. He literally knitted you in your mother's womb. Like, do you understand how much God, he literally created you. <laughs> You're breathing right now because of him. And it's like, it's just so much easier if you just trust the plans that he has in store for your life. But at the same time, you need to remember. Like, you literally have to remember that he knitted you in your mother's womb. You have to remember that like, wow, he really had his hand on you this entire time. This is the reason why you're alive is because of him. He's breathing air into your lungs. Like, you really, like, sit there and you really remember. It's kind of hard for you to then be, like, in a space where you forget. You know? I, I mean, that sounded stupid what I actually said right now. <laughs> because <I'm, laughs> let me let me reword that. I'm saying, like, if you are in a space of remembrance where you have these memories constantly in your mind, you're having these words, you're meditating on it constantly in your mind, it's very hard to forget them. So that's why it's so important to remember because if, you know what I mean? Like, if you have a child and, like, you tell the child, oh, you know, you're so pretty, all these things, you know, and then someone at school says they're ugly, they're going to forget all the words you said and believe the lie. Like, you know what I mean? And the difference is God's word is true. And not saying that like you ugly, but you <laughs> like your mama's word can be true at times, but you know what I mean? Like the, the Lord's word is solid. <laughs> um, but I'm saying that in the sense of like, it's so easy to believe a lie. And that's why it's so important to stay prayed up and in the words you have remembrance. Like, you don't understand how important remembrance is and I want you guys to know so bad because that is the only thing that gets me through is having remembrance and remembering what, what God has spoken and having friends that even when I'm in a space where I do forget, that they allow me to remember. That's why it's so important to have good friends. <laughs> like, for real. Um, if your friends ain't speaking life into you, I don't know what they're doing. But that's a story for another day. Okay? That's a that's another video. Not now. That's a not now video. It's so funny. I wanted to record um oh fun fact. Just for you guys to know for no reason. If you're not following me in the gram, you probably should because I honestly very up to date on that thing, okay? So if you really wanna know how your girl's doing and if I'm alive and breathing, you should check out Instagram. <laughs> um Okay, Ken. We doing something. I look like a freaking weirdo, but we're okay. So this is the final look. This is the vibes. Um, but yeah, guys, I just really wanted to share this encouraging word because I know how it feels to forget things and um, how lost in the sauce you can get when you forget God's word. <laughs> so I just really wanted to share the importance of having remembrance of what God has spoken over you. Um, and having remembrance of all the things God has done in your life and how many times God has shown up for you. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope that did something in your life. It did something for me. I don't know. I've been in a season where I really needed to remember. And even when I would be forgetting things, I had friends that would speak life back into me and speak God's word right back at me. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I feel better now. So yeah, I just really want you guys to have remembrance and to just remember that you are loved, you are seen, and you are heard by God. And he knitted you in your mother's womb. He loves you and he knows you. And um, I hope this encourages you to get to know God as well because he truly wants a relationship with you. Um, so yeah, guys, that is all I have for you guys for today. So please make sure you like this video and you are subscribed at this point. Okay, we got faith-based content and just, you know, vibe with me. It's just me 
doing me, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so show love and uh, comment down below. Ah, what should I say for you guys to comment down below? How you are doing? I love to know what's going on in you guys' lives. And uh, yeah, guys, that's all I have for you guys for today. So this is Miyage Bea, and we are out. <laughs> you cheese me, dog. I'm sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>